My name is Jennifer Meanly, and I go by she and her. Um, by training and by practice, I'm typically an oil painter um, on canvas, like in kind of my own personal studio. So um, I'm definitely not accustomed to collaboration or sort of working um, with a group of people. Um, my works are, they tend to be like large and figurative and narrative in nature, but pretty loose in terms of like their narrative plots, like they're really interpretive for the viewer. Well, I think over time I've definitely kind of embraced lots of different approaches to media. Um, so media specificity has become like more defined in a kind of pluralistic way, like through collage um, specifically, um, along with oil painting. But in response to COVID, definitely there was a much more extreme kind of reevaluation. Um, First of all, I wasn't able to access my studio, so I had to um, sort of move my practice into my home, which meant that my works were, were smaller, the scale shifted drastically. But I also found that, like, I think over um, the past couple of weeks especially, like, the work felt less and less relevant to, like, what was going on in the current moment. Um, and so when I started to feel a little bit more comfortable with kind of, like, leaving the house and um, just stepping outside of my head, um, I, want, I knew I wanted to get involved in some way with um, the protests specifically, and then I thought like murals would be something that um, in which I could kind of use my talent in service of like just collaborative projects with other people. So I was really grateful when um, Phil Marsh kind of reached out to me um, to become part of this, and I got to meet all these amazing people. Some of them I've known because I've had um, my kid um, as a student at UNCG, but the rest are really new faces and new, new people for me to experience and work with. Well, I mean, I think artists drive culture in a lot of ways, and um, I think that people also like look to art to signify um, the context of the current moment and to also sort of, I think like people are listening through art, like um, whether that's kind of um, artists asserting their independent identities to their practice or artists that are like working together um, collectively. Um, but I mean, I do think now is a really wonderful time for artists to kind of reassess, I guess the things that they do and what they take for granted and the ways in which they're reflective of like a need. Um, and I think that you can adapt to that like call for um, like change or um, call for uh, like awareness in like a variety of different ways. There's no like one way to do it. But um, artists I think like really lead in a lot of ways in the world in terms of um, becoming kind of iconic and um, like signifying like ways of seeing and doing and being involved. Well, for me, um, again, it's like a way of being proactive as opposed to being stuck in my own head <laughs> or constantly just like reading and thinking. I think like it's interesting the simultaneity of like COVID um, and then the police brutality um, targeting African Americans being s suddenly becoming kind of this like um, acute moment for all of us. I think like the fact that so many of us who want to be active are also kind of relegated to like being on online all the time, like that it can be kind of feel like this like tornado that you're spinning in and you feel like ineffective. So for me, this is a way to like, again, step outside of that zone and um, also like not, not necessarily need to take the lead on anything, but to be kind of like in, you know, helpful in, in the ways that I can be helpful and like trying to like edu educate myself and to listen better, um, which I think definitely something I need to do as an educator right now, um, especially like prior to the next semester starting. Um, and I mean, to be honest, like I've lived in Greensboro for 11 years, but this, this right now feels like the moment in which I feel the most at home in Greensboro, like it has an identity for me that like is, um, I don't know, that's, that's important and rich and like something that I wanna be a part of and that I just wanna keep sustaining that and pushing that for myself like as much as I can over the next year, you know, for however long I'm here, which I think is probably forever. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I think there's a need for um, us to make, you know, space for art in the community, especially like art that is initiated by black leaders and, um, 
there are so many young people here too that are so skilled and um, are already a community unto themselves. And I think just like not, um, I know like institutions get really siloed and kind of like um, often kind of insular. And I think just figuring out ways that we can really make our student voices heard, um, our young people's voices heard, and um, build like collaboration between institutions is something that like working with Darlene for sure has made me start to think more about. So important for us all.